He trying to call me connect the dots. Somebody else called me a freaking chocolate chip cookie. I cannot mess with no no no. He says she wanna stay, but she really wanna go. I cannot mess with no no. She just trying to stay hard, told me keep it on the low. No, I cannot mess with no hoes. She says she wanna stay, but she really wanna go. I cannot mess with no hoes. Hey queens, and welcome back to another video on my wonderful channel. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on to be notified every single time I post a video. Also, follow all my social medias, which will be on the screen and in the description down below. I just want to say that this video was very, very highly requested. Like, you guys have been asking me, skincare routine, skincare routine. How do I get my skin like this? What I use for my skin? Um, and different products that you guys want to know about. In this video, I'm just going to be sharing, like my journey, how it all started, like when I first started getting acne, um, what products I use, and then I'm gonna be showing you guys what I actually do to my skin, not just talk about it. I'm gonna show y'all what I do and what I use right now. So this is the 2020 version because throughout the years, my skincare routine has changed and I've done a skincare routine before, but it was honestly BS. Like the thing that I was using in my video does not work for my skin i was just using it because it was a face mask and everybody was doing face masks so i decided you know what let me make my skincare routine the basic youtube skincare video where they put the face mask on they sip in their little they little um they little iced tea no that's not my skincare routine because not everybody's skin is the same i just want to let that be known like not everybody's skin is clear if you take stuff from this video that i'm telling you and you use it and it doesn't work, don't come back to this video. Be like, B, that didn't work. I'ma just sit there and look at you and laugh because I'm telling you that everybody's skin is not the same. Backstory. So my skin was literally the biggest insecurity that I ever had. Like, I hated my skin with a passion. I will always like, use makeup to cover it up if not foundation then concealer in some type of way and y'all i honestly didn't like makeup like i hated the way makeup felt on my face i hated like in my last video when i said i feel like my face can't breathe that's literally how my fit my face feels every time i wear foundation it feels like it's so like packed up and it feels like it cannot breathe and i was dead serious when i said that and i would use like little concealers to conceal like God, my whole damn forehead, because my whole forehead had acne. Um, So that's just that. Like, I was so self-conscious about my skin. I will always wear the Snapchat filters. Like, that's when Snapchat was, like, first coming out. I will always wear Snapchat filters. Right now, like, they're cute or whatever, but it's not something that's necessary for me. Not to do my own horn, but it's not something that, like... It's optional. Makeup is optional right now. Um, filters are optional. Because honestly, I'm happy the way my skin is. Even though it's not perfect, it's getting there. So I, I'm happy to say that all of those things are optional. So it all started when I got my first pimple in the third grade, guys. Like, who you know got their first pimple in the third grade? I was freaking, what, eight or something? I forgot. Like, I don't remember. But I did get my first pimple, and it was on my nose. And I went to the bathroom one day, like, during lunch, and I just started picking at it. It was a scab. I don't know if it was a scab, but it got really dry. Like, the pimple on my nose was really dry. And this is when I first discovered what dark marks were. So I peeled the pimple off. I didn't even pop it because I didn't know, like, what it was. I just knew that it was a bump on my nose and I needed it to go away because I was a little girl and I'm like, well, I got a bump on my nose. Nobody else got a bump on their face. I got a bump on my nose. So I peeled it off and it made a dark mark because it was dry. So I just peeled all the dry skin off and it created a dark mark and I was walking around with a dark spot on my nose. Faithfully. I was faithfully walking around with a dark spot on my nose in the third grade at eight years old. I didn't know anything about acne at all. So I was just, you know, just being a little girl. Like, I didn't really care. So once middle school hit, I was still getting pimples. And when I get pimples, I pop them right away. So from that first day in the bathroom, I kind of like got, I don't want to say obsessed. 
because obsessed is a really strong word i kind of found pleasure in popping my pimples as soon as they come and that's kind of weird but that's what i've been doing my whole life so i really don't care it's in my past this is the present it's in my past so um i just keep popping my pimples and i like it was really getting to a point where my cousin, she's like my age, you know, like a few months older than me. Like she had acne too and I would literally beg her to pop them and she knew the consequences of popping them and she told me no and I was really sad because like, why you not letting me pop your pimple? Like, come on now. That's when I really like knew that popping your pimples will lead to dark marks. Um, When I first started getting pimples, I didn't care for the dark marks. Like I didn't care. Like I knew what was gonna happen and I still kept doing it, which, is a problem it's not really the way to go about life if you know it's gonna lead you in a bad direction why would you go but it's okay I was careless and it's in the past so I knew what the pimples were leading to um I got to high school and I didn't really pay much attention to it like I was bullied throughout all of high school and it was not about my skin so it really took my mind off of it thank you for all the bullies that was on my Let's not bring the ghetto out, even though I look like a ghetto baby mother. I'm not gonna bring the ghetto out. But everybody that was bullying me, where's my bed? Stop, stop right there, Kayla, stop. Yeah, I didn't really care about my skin in middle school. I really started caring about my skin in high school, mainly because like, I'm seeing all my friends with clear skin and I'm over here with mad dots on my face and this boy Karan if you watching this he used to no was it Karan he tried to call me connect the dots somebody else called me a freaking chocolate chip cookie that is so disrespectful and Karan if you watching this like to this day I really want to fight like I really want to fight and he called me that in checkers I wish I had like receipts but it was a life experience so I don't in high school, everybody around me had clear skin, including all the boyfriends I had. Like, I'm like, yo, like, your skin is so cute. Like, can I have it? Um, But they, I don't think they had a problem. All my exes, thank you for not caring. And thank you for loving and accepting me the way I was. I still don't like none of y'all. But thank you for accepting me because I was very self-conscious. And I really hated my skin with a passion. So... I feel like this backstory part is taking a little too long. Did I even talk about what I use? Oh my God. Anyways, let's, okay, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit because I'm talking too much. The first thing I started using was Ambi. Ambi is a fading cream and I would put it on my, sp no, I would put it all over my face actually. The, the um bottle says to put it on your spots only. Yeah, the bottle said to just put it on your spots, but I put it all over my face because spots were all over my face. Like, I had acne all over, dark marks all over. It was connected dots. Like, it literally was connected dots. Like, it literally was. That did not work. I didn't see results in Ambi Fading Cream, so that was trash. Um, I used it every night. It was still trash. Then I use mad random fading creams like from beauty supply stores and this African store and a drug store. Like those fading creams do not work. Like products with the mixtures of different products do not work. And I'm saying like, stop using these products on your face. Like they do not work. You need natural things. So then I started using aloe vera. I did see slight results like small tiny results but it I didn't like how it felt on my face like I literally hated the way aloe vera felt on my face and so I stopped using it because my comfort like I hate uncomfortable things like although I was very self-conscious about my skin I hate feeling uncomfortable for a long time because I was supposed to keep the aloe on my face for like 10 minutes and 10 minutes was a long time when it really like was burning my face and it was no it wasn't burning it was itching then I started using I stopped using aloe, stopped using aloe. Then I started using lemon water. Lemon water, like all natural lemon water. <clears throat> I will roll the lemon out, cut it in half, squeeze it into a bowl, and use a cotton swab, not a cotton swab, a cotton ball, and rub it all over my face. That was one of the most uncomfortable experiences ever to treat my skin. Never gonna do it again, never gonna touch aloe or lemon water again, like, 
no um i rather drink lemonade and just not use aloe at all then i started using black soap honestly when i started using black soap it did burn my skin like literally like i had like burn marks on my face and i wish i had pictures but that was on like my old old phone and those pictures are gone like absolutely gone um so just to wrap that up because i really want to get into what i use right now just to wrap that up i had acne all my life was very self-conscious kept using all these products from drug stores and random places they did not work do not use those like do not use those um so now i'm gonna get into what i do and what i use we got the black soap again i never gave up on this this will literally if you are struggling with dark marks i don't know if it's gonna work with pimples it will literally burn your face if you're just trying to get rid of pimples this skincare routine is not for pimples because i barely get pimples it's for dark marks and all the dark marks that I get when I pop my pimples, when I do get them. I use African black soap, and um, this is the holy grail. This will change your life forever if you have dark marks. Do not get the Shea Moisture African black soap. That is not real African black soap, and you will not see any results, and you're wasting your bread. Like, you're wasting your bread plus no results. Trash, that's literally trash. So do not get Shea Moisture African Black Soap or Black Soap that looks pitch black. Black Soap does not look pitch black. Black Soap looks brown. This is how Black Soap looks. Just a close-up. This is how it looks. Just like, it looks a little white because like these are like soap suds. But this is how it looks, guys. All right, so like I said before, black soap helps with hyperpigmentation and fading dark marks. When you first start using it, it's really, it, it's going to get a little bit irritating, but you don't want to use it too frequently. When you start using it um, for the first time, probably use it like twice a week, but I got used to it, so it literally feels like nothing. It's basically testing it on your face. You can test it for two days a week to see how your skin reacts to it then you can start using it more frequently so black soap is literally my whole heart and i would never give up on black soap because it never gave up on me and never failed me and yeah so now i'm gonna show you guys like my whole skincare routine and what i do so the first thing that i do when i'm about to wash my face is i wash my hands like i know that may sound really weird like why are you washing your hands you're about to get it wet anyway you're about to get your face wet what are you doing um first of all the rona's is out like i don't want to put my hands to my face germs are everywhere i don't care i'm washing my hands especially if it's gonna touch my face i'm washing my hands <laughs> I'm gonna wet my face and also my spin brush to get you know the brush wet to get it onto the soap because you wouldn't put like dry like a dry brush I'm gonna wet my face in my spin brush so what I'm doing now is that I'm gonna take my black soap and just rub the spin brush against the soap and you see it's getting soapy because obviously it's soap like duh then i'm gonna wash my face <laughs> for a little bit and talk to y'all so like it could really get into my skin because this does help exfoliate and open your pores so it's really important that you guys get a spin brush if you do decide to use black soap um make sure that you're not do you're not using the exfoliating brush every day because it can cause burning to your skin because even though the brush is like soft if you're doing it in one area for too long it will start to hurt and it will start to burn and irritate your skin so if you do decide to use black soap make sure that some days you're using um 
some days you're using the brush and some days you're using your hands because it can cause burning especially if you just start using it so i'm gonna wash my spin brush out and put it up there so now i'm gonna wash my face off <laughs> black so as you can see you definitely see a difference in the tone like the tone the complexion of my skin you definitely see a difference in the complexion of my skin there is redness right here and right here because I did get into the corners and like I said I have sensitive skin if y'all didn't know I'm gonna say this for the hundredth time I have sensitive skin so when using black soap it does make your skin kind of dry so that's why you always need to have a moisturizer for a moisturizer I usually just use Jergens like lotion but African shea butter works really well to fade to help fake dark marks too so it kind of like works along with the African black soap so African black soap for the washing process and um and African Shea Butter for the moisturizing process and they both fade dark marks. So the front of it says, oh, it looks like this. So this is what it looks like. Mine is kind of beat up because I've had it for a very long time. I had it since like last summer. Um, if you've seen in my other video about my skin. It's also important to have a moisturizer because the African Black Soap tightens your skin and it makes it feel really dry. And why not moisturize? Like your skin needs to be soft. So, um, it treats dry skin, eczema, minor burns, pain relief for arthritis, improves muscle stiffness, um, treats dark spots, discoloration, and stretch marks, and wrinkles, and blemishes. So, shea butter is um, another holy grail, but not for washing, just for moisturizer, because it does do a lot of other things. And so, I'm going to take this much. It, it is kind of stiff. And I used to like microwave it, but I have no time for that. So I'm gonna just rub that all over my face. It does give your skin a shine, but I usually do this in the nighttime. Um, but it also like gets your pillows yellow if you put too much. So be careful not to put too much. All right, so that was the last step of my skincare routine. I literally just wash and moisturize. I don't use any oils or toners or anything like that. Um. Oh, I forgot to show y'all my skin. So, it does still have a little bit of dark marks. Um, like a like major dark marks or like right here, right here. So my skin is not perfect, but I'm getting it. Like I'm trying my hardest to get it to that point. And I'm just gonna keep doing what I do every day, which is washing my face with black soap. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button to become a queen like me. And also follow on my social medias, which will be in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for 69K. We are on our way to 100K. Roll to 100K, guys. Roll to 100K. That's all I'm saying. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So after filming that video that you guys saw, I went on Instagram and I recorded myself saying, guess what kind of video I just made? And I zoomed in on my skin. So if y'all didn't get that answer, then um, I don't know what to tell y'all. But I said the first person who gets it will get a shout out. And the shout out goes to Nina Elizabeth. Her Instagram is nina.elizabeth underscore. And her channel is Nina Elizabeth. I will leave her channel in the description down below. And I will leave her Instagram on the screen and down below as well.